Hello. Hey everybody. I'm back. I'm here. I know I'm running late today, but I had a lot of stuff going on this morning and now I've got to hit the road and um, make a little road trip. But I just wanted to pop in really quick uh, something that was on my mind this morning about friendships and um, how easy it is for us to accidentally surround ourselves with the wrong people. Uh, sometimes we purposefully surround ourselves by the wrong people, but um, we are a product of what we surround ourselves with. Have you ever been around somebody for a long time and you notice that you start talking like them or you start using their expressions or their sayings or you start saying your voice starts to sound like theirs. Um, just like people from other countries and they come here or we go there. I mean, you develop their accent. They develop our accent. Uh, people who live in different regions, they sound like the people they're around. Because as humans, we tend to mimic what we surround ourselves with. And it's not even intentional sometimes. So the Bible talks about your friendship group. And Satan will infiltrate your friendship group so easily, sometimes without you even noticing it. So a wonderful rule of thumb to know if maybe you're in the wrong crowd is number one, if you ever at any point in time feel like you have to hide your Christianity, you're in the wrong crowd. If you ever feel like you have to compromise your beliefs, you're in the wrong crowd. If you ever feel like you have to turn your head while somebody does something, you're in the wrong crowd. It doesn't take long to be influenced by the wrong things. Something I like, a verse that I like in Proverbs 13, um, 20, it says, walk with the wise and become wise for a companion of fools suffers harm. That's just pretty point blank um, saying, whatever you're around, that's what you're going to become. So check your friendship group. Make sure you're not being infiltrated by something you don't want to become. And on a positive note, when you surround yourself by positive people of similar beliefs and similar value, you uplift each other and everything works wonderful. Instead of drama and problems and pulling you down, you reach your full potential when you're around other people. That's part of the reason we go to church is to surround ourselves, surround ourselves with people who uplift us instead of dragging us down. And one of the biggest causes of depression sometimes is the, the crowd you hang with. So check your friendship group and I will see you guys tomorrow.